Today I will show you how to edit like Osama-san as seen in his most popular music videos. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so let's start off with this like a uh, laggy picture effect. I don't know, like the first effect you saw in the intro. So for that like effect, you can either have like pictures that are like close to each other in the moment. So for example, like this frame is close to this frame. So yeah, just have them like this. Make sure that if you have them in pictures, uh, make sure to have them happen in two frames. At least that's what it is for me. I'm editing in 24 frames per second. So if you add in 24 frames per second, just make sure it happens for two frames but if you don't have pictures to stack around that are like close to each other then you can actually just take from videos so for example what i did is like i took just videos random like legit just the most random video like uh, parts like these are not even like close and i just stack them together like this what you can do to make them like laggy is like press ctrl y and on top of all of these you know i'm just gonna cut it right here and yeah you can add posterized time and here you want to set the frame rate to 12. Now this will basically do the job for you. One frame lasts for two frames and here one frame lasts for two frames and here one frame lasts for two frames. You can do this like this, you can do it like with just pictures and now if you want to make that like split effect like with uh, these pictures just happening at one side and a video happening in the other, uh, you can just take the video, you can right click on the video, press pre-compose, just call it like right, press move attributes into your composition, press ok, let's get into it and let's go to composition, composition settings and here we just need to make the width two times smaller to so like wait, 960. Yeah. And make sure he's like in the middle, you know, and go to main comp. And now we can just drag it to 1440, I think. Yeah, it's going to be like completely at the side. Yeah, you can take all of these videos that we had, like these frames. You can press P and yeah, just like add it to the middle, like to, for it to be able to like see it. Yeah, always put, oh, here it's not positioned. So here we can just position it like this and I just reposition like everything. So like, yeah, this is now positioned as well. Yeah, and that's just going to look like that. That is actually very cool. And yeah, I did the same thing for this, except in this music video, I found clips that were very close to each other, but like they had a lot of movement. So you can actually just film like a video like moves around like a person and this will work very well you just have to separate the parts out like this as you can see but here i didn't add the effect so now let's go and add that actually effect so let's just actually copy and paste this all and here we're actually gonna make that text the the some number text you know that you see in the awesome uh, music videos so here we go it's just gonna be two frames per second and that looks amazing like all of these shots are like close to each other but not the same shots you know uh so here we can type out like a text yeah let's grab the text tool and just type here like what was it like one eight zero flex till and you know like that word like let's just press ctrl a to like select everything and i like the font here to use arial actually arial black yeah now let's position it and what's important is to press S and disconnect this, like right here, and make it to 72. Here, let's make it to 95. Oh yeah, and let's uh, press on this button, pen behind, like uh, with, by holding control and pressing on this double, because this will make uh, this go to the middle. And here, let's align it to the middle. Yeah, and we have the text that looks very dope. And yeah, let's just cut it up, I guess. So yeah, I cut up the text and now I want to make it like have those colors, you know. So in order to do that, you just need to add this effect called rotate a uh, hue. And now we can press U and we will see like these keyframes. Uh, what I actually like to do is I like to drag this keyframe like somewhere here. Yeah, I like to start off with a, like a green text, you know, and it's just gonna like go like this and, and that's just gonna look pretty cool. And we can also add drop shadow. I like to make the opacity to 65% and the distance is 12.5. As you can see, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, it's just like that. That is a really dope look. Another thing I would recommend if you have this plugin called Colorista is to add Colorista like four, I guess. And uh, I like to go to this freeway and I like to go and make this color like that. And I feel like that looks crazy cool yeah, this is uh, a look i was using and also honestly wait let's just close it like this and let's add u saturation also let's add on top of colorista and let's make the master saturation to 25 uh that's how you create these like sounds like i don't know not, not night vision like purple looks or not purple i don't know yeah like a very cool look so yeah, we're basically done with the one eight flex till 
stuff. And now let's go to the last one, which we will do like the little always happy text. Uh, so we can actually press control C, control V on this right here. And yeah, just drag on top of it because I love this effect. This is a really dope effect. But the only thing we can do is like, it's like here we don't need a post our time. So let's just delete the post our time. And below all of these effects, you know, uh, let's add add grain. Don't need a colorista, by the way, guys. That was just like a suggestion. And press final output here. And let's make the intensity 1.2. Because uh, a lot of the times, like, they have these, like, grungier looks, you know, in the music video. So, yeah, that is a very cool look for Osama song. And another little thing I think they like to do is, like, let's press Control D, you know, to duplicate this layer. But now let's delete all of the effects from the top, top layer. And here we can add S uh, JPEG damage. I just want damage to look a bit more, but th that is a bit too much damage. Uh, so I like to make it to 0.4. That is a very cool detail. I mean, you can make it a bit lower, but I mean, you can barely spot it right now, but it definitely does uh, something. And now let's type out the text. So let's press on this adjustment layer because we want to be below on that one. And here we can type the, the text, whatever it was like. I think it was uh, Lil O is happy. Be. yeah and first it has like a comma here oh yeah now let's just cut the text a bit you know from the sides you can cut by pressing ctrl shift d by the way i forgot to mention that oh yeah and let's uh press on pan behind like by holding control uh, let's press align let's just align it you know the middle although we don't need to align this in the middle because it has like two texts like little always happy uh so for this text uh, let's just press s and like uncheck this and make it to 100 20 and here let's make it to 65 and, and here let's make it to 65 all right that's good and as you can see it looks a bit too big so let's go here and we need to actually make this to bold yeah and now let's uh press control and like make the pen behind to like uh to the middle because it's very important for to have this in the middle and press the line like right now it's important for this uh, text and here let's add rotate you oh yeah we can start it uh with just uh, the red one and then it's just gonna go uh to this 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 and so on you know what i like to do is i like to go one two and two frames forward press ctrl shift d and cut it and then let's go one two three frames forward and here press ctrl shift d to cut it and then on the last frame uh we can press ctrl shift d again and now we can delete this like last one doesn't really matter right now and what we can do is we can press s uh, on this one and here i like to make it to 123.5 you want to zoom in for those three frames and here we want to make the we want to add drop shadow and we want to make the drop shadow color to red because that's what i saw in like the music video and the direction to 200 and that looks very cool and uh, let's go to last text here and here let's also add drop shadow and I like to make the drop shadow color to blue. And that's what they did in the music video. And let's make it uh, plus 200 as well. And I guess the distance like seven or the other one, you could have changed the distance as well, or you could have not. Yeah, I think it looks cool. I think it looks good just with this distance. And what you actually now want to do is select uh, all of these three and press control C and control V and now drag them out. Press control C, press control V and just do that until you fill up the full clip, you know, just press control. C plus control V, plus control C plus control V, plus control C plus control V. Now it ends here, so we can delete that. And now you just want to select all of the text right here that you have, and you want to also press control C and control V, tab two. And now you need to right click on this one, pre compose, and just call it like with comma layer. And now let's select the other text and right click again, and here we're gonna with dot or whatever you want to call it. And now let's just press P and make this go a bit higher, like the, 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 the upper one. Let's press P here and let's make this go down. I mean, I guess something like this, I mean, you can position it a bit better. And uh, one thing I like to do now is as you can see, this is a comma right here. So you need to go back here and adjust all of these to have a dot. All of these needs to be adjusted to have a dot or you can just keep it as a comma. Uh, there, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, you can just adjust those uh or you can just like keep it like this and it will look very cool i really like this text and 
Sadly, you can't really save this as a preset, but you can save others as a preset. So if you like want to save this grunge, here you can press Ctrl A, go to animation and save animation preset. But the other ones you will just have to always keep remaking. Although this one is very easy to remake. Uh, this one, it flex to left. And guys, I also want to recommend that if you like this style and have the Sapphire and the Signal plugins, I would really recommend to go and check out my Opium Precepts pack. Uh, I have that pack on my boycos.com website, but they will both be linked in the description. And with that pack, you can just add crazy looks. So like if you press Ctrl Alt Y and go to effects and presets and you can just add like Opium and like even Opium 1 would probably look pretty cool on this. Of course, you won't be able to like see the text, but yeah, it just kind of like overexposes everything, which I really like about Opium effects. Just a very edgy uh, look. Highly recommend to check it out. You can just scroll through like I have over 50 effects here. So I guess we can try like Opium 10 here. That looks insane. Like for these type of effects, you could like go to resolution and make it to like half. And that is incredible. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of them is to just be dark. Hardly visible, I guess. But that's the whole look, you know. Another great one is Opium 11. That just looks insane on this one. But I would also recommend to like uh, make it to like half resolution or even lower. And I also have a $5 discount code for this pack or for any of my packs, which is called Povicas. I uh, use code Povicas to save $5 off on the Opium presets pack. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know and tell me if you guys want any more of these like tutorials of like osama sun or brain rot tutorials this is kind of similar to the brain rot style but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya